Hey YouTubers, this is Jack of All Trades New Hampshire, and I've got some exciting updates for you on the channel. Uh, we got an addition to uh, the normal great content that you enjoy. We're gonna start doing game cams and critter cams. And I wanna show you here, if you've been watching the videos of the porcupine, you can check out where this little guy lives. All right, so see, he's got a little bitty hole. He's right by the house. Anyway, uh, it's interesting how, how uh, little he is and young natured he is because uh, I got some video just the other day of him uh, playing and he's dancing. Just like a, a cat or dog would do where they, uh, they jump around and they grab at a ball or they grab at a toy and they do circles and they kind of get a little rambunctious. Uh, so I got some video here. We're gonna start this series. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into that intro. start the videos here uh, I got some interesting clips from the porcupine the other night where he was dancing around uh, I gave him some acorns and some slices of apples which are on his diet it's just out of season right now for him he's so small he's really not able to dig through the snow that we have on the ground so he's been climbing the trees a lot and eating bark which I'm sure gets boring after a while but you know he's a wild animal and he's used to it, it looks like he's surviving pretty well um, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some bait out uh, we had uh, a video the other night of a bobcat, and I want to get some better video of that bobcat and potentially even some of the eastern coyote that run around out here. So I've got some chicken, and we're going to go ahead and see if, if we can get some up-close video of uh, those predators. Uh, I do believe they are both scavengers in some, in some way, so we might be able to get them out there with some chicken. Hopefully in that raccoons they don't come out. They look like they've been eating pretty well, so I don't really, I don't really see any video of them. Anyway, stay tuned. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of voiceover work here. So uh, first off, you see in the top right hand corner, we have uh, a light that looks like it's pretty bright. Don't be worried about that. That's an infrared light, so we can't see it at all. He checks out the acorns when he comes out, and then he does sniff out those apple slices, which he goes for almost immediately. It's a better choice. Something I thought that was interesting is, is he always picks things up with his mouth and then holds them in his hands. I think that is because uh, he doesn't have thumbs. He just has four fingers in the front and I'm assuming maybe a pad or of some sort. I do believe porcupines are rodents, so uh, I'm not quite sure how his fingers are, are situated there on his hand. He comes out to, to check the camera out, uh, the secondary camera that I have, and you can see the game cam in the background. He's gotten out of range of it, so it's uh, it's kicking off. But it's uh, you get some close-up views of his mouth and his nose. He looks, you know, definitely like a rodent here with with the nose and the mouth. Supposedly their teeth are real dark orange, and uh, they're pretty big because they chew up a lot of bark and some branches. It's ma their main diet in the winter time. All right, so this is when he starts getting wound up. Uh, I can't tell if he's just high on the sugar from the apples or if he's role playing some like deadly fight that he's in for, for life. He's just, he's just trying to survive and he's doing whatever he can to fight off the enemy. Gets in some pretty good wax there on that tree. If you'll notice though, he's, he's, he's biting at the ground there where the apples were. I think there's probably some leftovers and then he's getting kind of wound up and spinning. Looks like he's having a really good time. This is three o'clock in the morning. He doesn't actually finish doing this till almost six. Guess it's pretty, uh, pretty boring life, you know. He's, he's, he's a loner. He's a, a young loner. And then lastly here, he's trying to do some off-roading. 
Uh, we still got about seven inches of snow on the ground out in the yard. Uh, so he's not he's not getting too far. He pretty much sticks to paths that he's dug out. Yeah, he has a path down to a, a group of trees that he climbs up, and he goes back and forth between those, and that's that's about the only places he goes because I, I can keep track of where he goes because of the snow. He'll get in a few extra spins here, uh, some shakes, and scratch some fleas. And then he's done for the night and goes back down in his den. All right, so this is uh, this is roughly where we saw the bobcat the other night. Uh, I'm gonna put some chicken here, kind of up close and up far away, and we'll see uh, we'll see if we can get any 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 action here. So, so a near and a far shot. All right. All right, so what we're gonna do here is, all right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna let this uh, camp out for a few days and come back later and see what we've got. Uh, if you wanna keep up with the game cam action or any of the critters, uh, just hit the subscribe button. We'll be back uh, to check this out later and give you an update. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do too many more videos on the porcupine unless he just becomes insanely famous. Uh, I think two or three videos on, on one animal is probably enough. And I'm just going to let him live his life anyway. I think he's doing fine. All right, we got the bait set out for the camera. Uh, hopefully we catch some action from a bobcat or a coyote. Um, I'll go out there in a few days and maybe put some more bait out there. But go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get that video when we post it. And hopefully you like the, the video of the porcupine. He's a cute little guy. Uh, probably roughly size the size of a football. He's pretty small, but he, he gets along just fine. Uh, I'm not really worried about him. Big. Anyway, hit that subscribe button so you can get that video when I post it here in the next week, and hopefully we get some good action. But have a good weekend. Take care and bye.